You're watching Outsiders with your host, Rowan Rambunctious Dean, prodigal son, James Murray is back. And I'm Rita Panahi from the Rita Panahi Show, Monday to Thursday, 11 p.m. Monday We're to Thursday, excellent, 11 excellent, p.m. Excellent. And this week we began a new show on Fridays called Lefties Losing It. That's right, 9.30 p.m. on Fridays, an entire program devoted to mocking the illiberal, idiotic and ideologically rotten left. This is a world they give their viewers anything to try to make America look bad. They are obsessed. And for that reason, you guys want to criminalize us with metal detectors? We'll see you at your house. We'll murder you. My name is Alex, and my pronouns are Pearl Pearls. People were chanting death to America. Do you condemn? Not talk to Fox News. But do you condemn chants of death to America? They come to two, two, to three, to the four. Everybody drunk out on the dance floor. Baby girl asks you go like she want more. Like she a groupie and I ain't even know. Millions every week are watching our lefties losing it clips on our digital platforms such as YouTube. And while it's important to have a laugh at some of the utter lunacy the left insists on inflicting on the world, it is also important to call out this ugly, illiberal, hate-filled dogma that masquerades as caring and inclusive. Take what happened in London this week where during the regular pro-Palestinian anti-Israel rallies, police decided to target a man for looking Jewish. And they told him if he was going to stand around peacefully, looking openly Jewish, then they would arrest him. You are quite openly Jewish. This is a pro-Palestinian march. I'm not accusing you of anything, but I'm worried about the reaction to you. You can split it out of this area so you can feel that this the way you want to feel it. Because his mere presence would antagonise them, really, these peaceful protesters calling for a ceasefire, that's grounds for arresting the Jew standing around observing a protest and not those who triggered, who are triggered by his mere presence. Uh, it's London in 2024, folks, where being openly Jewish is tantamount to a crime and it got worse. Watch as the police stand around and observe as this man, Gideon Falter, is abused and threatened and do nothing to help him. Taxi. Watching a movie. That's right. 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 We're all going to watch a movie and report. We're here. Wait, wait. No, the, 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 police, the police ain't going to help you in this scenario. He was right. The police are not going to help you. It's mob rule and the police are standing with the mob. Now, after that video went viral, thanks to X, by, by mind you, the, uh, the platform Australia's eSafety Commission is at war with and wants to censor, after that incident went viral on X and hit the headlines, the police put out a disgraceful statement. It was supposed to be an apology, but it was really a victim-blaming exercise. In a statement they have since deleted, but we have the receipts, the Metropolitan Police claimed in recent weeks we've seen a new trend emerge with those opposed to the main protests appearing along the route to express their views. The fact that those who do this often film themselves while doing so suggests they must know that their presence is provocative that they're inviting a response and that they're increasing the likelihood of an altercation. They are also making it much more likely officers will intervene. So, yeah, uh, it, it's their fault. It's their fault for, uh, for, for, for being openly Jewish, as you heard there in the clip. Now, in farcical scenes, the Metropolitan Police then deleted that statement and apologised for the earlier apology. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe the Met Police should investigate themselves for committing a non-crime hate crime. That's a thing in the UK. And if you think that incident was isolated, just a one-off, then you've got a very short memory indeed because we've seen similar incidents in Melbourne and Sydney where those wearing a kippah or having an Israeli flag 
are arrested or marched off by police to avoid antagonising the mob. In Edinburgh, police told this man to hide his Star of David because it could set off the protesters and they wouldn't be able to protect him. Not doing anything wrong, okay? Not doing anything illegal. Is that if people will see your star, which I appreciate that you feel comfortable with, um, they will just get very, very angry. Now imagine if police were approaching, I don't know, women in hijabs during a white supremacist march <laughs> and threatening them with arrest for antagonising the mob, or if they ordered them to take off their hijab to keep the peace. There would be mass resignations in the police force. The entire police hierarchy would be scrutinised. Right now, we have this two-tier policing in places where leftist ideology has taken hold, uh, and that sees the activist class held to a very different standard, and that's true not just for these anti-Israeli protesters, but those taking part in global warming protests, BLM, whatever the lefty cause is that week.